so sleepy it's currently 10 24 tuesday march 12th tuesday yes i said tuesday i'm starting this vlog off way early i know today's a very important day and i'm i'm just now i'm just now waking up I'm literally just now waking up. We're going to see a very important person in concert. <laughs> so I have to start getting ready now. And I wanted to squeeze this into this upcoming vlog. So yeah, you guys are just gonna be getting ready with me, I guess. Um, going over outfit and hair and makeup, I guess. Um, I don't know what I want to do with my hair, but I am wearing a gray uh, Zara jumpsuit. I'll insert, I'll insert the picture on the screen, but I'm wearing a gray jumpsuit. I don't know what my hair should be like. I could have my hair down curly, side part. I don't know, but it's 1026. We have to drive about an hour and a half or two hours. With that being said, I have to rush. I look a mess. I look crazy. I'm sorry. My hair is just... Maybe we can do a side part. Side part. Hair down. Maybe. Or middle part. Or bun to the back, but I feel like my head is extra big, so I need to have my hair like down, if that makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the shower real quick and then do my skincare and brush my teeth and all that good stuff, because I literally just rolled out of bed. Um, and then I'll be back on here when we get to doing hair and makeup. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Just don't. 
Okay, y'all, I'm back. Hey, so I'm about to do hair and then get into makeup. Um, but oh, I still don't know what hairstyle I should do. Everybody that I look up with a similar jumpsuit on, just to see, like, get inspo for how their hair is, it's just not, it's not working for me hairstyles um i think we're just gonna do down side part side part down curly like i don't know what else to do let's see I went to sleep at like 3 o'clock in the morning. Who knows why? I don't know. Maybe I was just anxious because of today. But I was literally just dead sleep. I put in the pattern um, styling cream in my hair. That's what I just put in my hair. And then I'm about to go on the ends with the pattern curl gel and this literally a little bit goes a long way because it's super watery and even what I, what with what I just applied on the ends I can move up my hair shaft with it because like I said again it's really really watery and a little bit goes a long way definitely so I applied that on the ends I love the color black down nobody can ever take that away from me ever absolutely not but gray has become gray has become my jam as of lately i don't know why but gray and silver oh unmatched that color combo unmatched my gray um jacket from zara oh y'all like i said about the um, new balances if y'all want me out of them Somebody's gonna have to yank me out. I feel the same way about that jet, that um, gray jacket from Zara. And I got a blue one. If you guys haven't watched, I think it was like two vlogs ago, where I did, maybe a vlog ago, I did the Zara unboxing. Um, Yeah, I got a blue one because I don't know if anybody else is like this, but when I find something that I like, oh, I want it in every color. And I'm going to wear them. Both. Damn. The gray one has definitely been on, is, has definitely been on my um, wear list. So yeah, every time I wear that jacket, I'm going to wear my New Balances. And even if I don't wear that jacket, I'm going to wear my New Balances. I'm just gonna find something else gray to wear with it. Or to wear with them i need to clip my hair back and then we're gonna get started on makeup so i will see you guys in just a second just go in with the gray light hand and build it up this is the um real techniques number 400 i'll link this in my FK too y'all just bro hey y'all so i just finished doing baby hairs and i'm about to get into makeup i'm so sad because I'm out of my Chanel um, complexion product 
and you guys know that a while back i want to say it was a long long time ago or like a couple vlogs ago i purchased this can you guys see i purchased this the laura mercier tinted moisturizer i got them the shade tan i really really wanted to love this i think i i really 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 do think products with spf bother my eyes like i don't know what it is but every time i apply any type of product with spf um sunscreen whatever it like my eyes burn like throughout the day like randomly i don't know what it is i don't know if it's like i don't know i don't know i'm not even gonna make anything up because i don't know what it is but i really wanted to love that that's disappointing um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and start my makeup i ended up finding this that i brought a while back it was when i was trying to i was trying to purchase this because this is like the new formula or like the new um yeah this is like the new formula for this one i guess this one is old or it came out before this one um i like this one i can just say that it's more watery than this one this one definitely uh is a little thicker i don't know if it has anything to do with me shaking it up i don't think shaking it up is gonna is gonna do anything for it but yeah, I used this last um, weekend <clears throat> when doing my makeup, and I feel like my makeup came out pretty good. Like, it wasn't anything that was wrong with it, but I just need to use it a little bit more and see, like, for sure, like, see for sure, for sure if I like it. Um, but I don't hate it. It's not like on my no list now that Laura Mercier is is making its way to my no list because I don't know why. And I felt the same with the uh, Black Girl sunscreen. I don't know what it's called exactly right now, but that sunscreen, I felt the same way about that one because when I use that one, my eyes burned. I don't know what it is. I don't get the product in my eye like I why would I do that but something about it I don't know if it's like an ingredient in there the fumes or whatever like it's literally sliding down my face y'all see that it's definitely much much more watery than this one. I know you guys have seen me apply this one time and time again. And it's not that watery. But we're gonna go ahead and blend it. I've been really loving a good tinted moisturizer or like um, a good lightweight complexion product outside of foundation because like i said this is not really foundation it's like a the closest thing when people ask me the closest thing i can compare it to is like a bb cream but it's not a bb cream i just wear it as the base of my makeup to even out my complexion i'm gonna go ahead and add a little more nice 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 and then you guys know i've been loving my Fenty beauty this is the wear even hydrating long wear concealer um i am in the shade 370 in and you guys know i have been talking and talking and talking about finding a concealer 
that does not crease because I was using this one before. This is the Fenty Beauty Concealer, the Pro Filter Concealer. I liked it at first, but I noticed, I don't know, I don't know, just like recently when I've been using it, it's been creasing like really bad. And I have not noticed that from this one yet. So, but one thing I can say is it is much more lightweight, much more lightweight, definitely a thinner consistency than the pro filter concealer. So that could be a reason for it not creasing. That's just where I apply it in those areas. And we're just going to let that sit and dry down a little bit. Um, while that's sitting, we're going to go ahead and do cream bronzer. This is the Chanel one. Um, I love this one, this cream bronzer. I use it all the time. A little bit goes a long way. And I'm just going to bronze right here, right here, and then my forehead. Um, and then down the bridge of my nose. Really, I'm just tapping because like a little bit goes a long way. You guys will see when I apply it. I can say that this um, cream bronzer is perfect for someone that likes to do their makeup but doesn't wear a lot of makeup because I have also wore this when I don't have a makeup just to give myself some color and bring some depth back into my face because during the winter months I can get a little pale but this is super super lightweight and it's definitely buildable but as you guys see I only did a few taps, like I wasn't even digging into the product. And it's just like the minimal, like the perfect amount. The perfect amount. <clears throat> then, actually I still need this. I'm going to go down the bridge of my nose. This small little brush. Literally. Tapping. Literally tapping. And that's going to pick up a good amount of product. We did cream contour. Now, we're going to go ahead and blend out this concealer. I'm going to go ahead and wet my beauty blender. And after I wet my beauty blender, I like to take a paper towel and just squeeze like most of the water out of it. I want it to be damp, not wet. So we're going to go ahead and blend this out. One thing about this concealer as well, it's very slow drying. I could have definitely let this sit under my eye for a little longer. And it was still going to have this same consistency and blend out effortlessly. the rest of that down here because I'm going to be um, cutting this. You guys can clearly tell the concealer and the bronzer and like I told you guys the bronzer is literally just enough like perfect but I'm going to go ahead and change my camera battery out and then we're going to finish doing this. I know I said I wasn't going to talk through my makeup right but I guess I'll give you guys a step-by-step -step of walkthrough right okay so Considering we do have a few new products. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and change my battery out and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I'm not zoomed in anymore. But to continue with the makeup, I'm going to get my powder ready and then my little small brush that I use for my powder. I don't know 
how to describe this brush it's just like a smaller fluffy brush um but i'm gonna go ahead and pat my under eyes again just to make sure product isn't building up and then i'm dipping my little brush into the powder tapping majority of it off because this first layer of powder i really just want the smallest the smallest amount of product okay and then so i'm also going to do the same thing for around the sides of my nose i'm gonna get a little bit more powder and we're gonna leave that in the inner corner to brighten and also bake now with the remainder of that powder we're just gonna go on the forehead pick up a little bit more and then go down the bridge of my nose where we applied the concealer initially then I like to tap out under my brows and on my lid because that just be shiny then the tiniest amount again here on the chin perfect so after that now we move into powder bronzer so i have this brush it is the all these brushes are the morphe and ariel collection um this is the a 3.2 brush my small powder brush is the a14 and then my tiny contour brush for my cream bronzer is the a25 um the one i use for my uh not foundation but complexion product which is like a water tint um this is a pro foundation 70 it's a sephora brush um and yeah so taking my powder bronzer brush i'm going in with the island team fancy island team bronzer and we're gonna pick up some of that give it a little tap and define that contour we're basically setting the cream bronzer with the powder bronzer and then you're setting your concealer with your setting powder or loose powder whatever you want to use After that is done, you guys see my powder. I don't know if you guys can see, but my powder is already setting in. I'm going to take a little bit of that just to set my cream bronzer on the side of my nose. Setting it a little bit. Then I'm going to take this. What is that? I don't know what brush this is. It's an all-over shadow brush. I believe I got it from Sephora. Yes, yeah, it's a Sephora brush. It says all-over shadow. But I don't use it for shadow. I use it for contour. <laughs>
Okay, you guys, so as you guys seen, I kind of just went through that because I was on the phone, but I just did my little cut underneath the contour just to define that a little bit. And then I went ahead and went ahead and did blush. So that's very light and cute. Um, I used the Juvia's Place Duo Blush thing. I believe I showed this in a previous vlog. Um, this is the volume four, so it's the the pinks. I have the oranges as well, but I've been really feeling the pinks on me. So we went ahead and did the pinks. Um, I touched up my brows, did um, my brow pencil, and then went over it again with my brow gel. And now we're about to, we're pretty much done with the face. Yeah, we're pretty much done with the face. I'm going to go ahead and spray down with setting spray. And then we're going to wait for that to dry. And then we're going to go ahead and do mascara, top and bottom mascara. You guys know I've been getting into that. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. We are forgetting something. We are forgetting something. I know I was forgetting something. We didn't do highlight. Come on now. On the tip of my nose, down the bridge of my nose, on these little nostril parts, under the brow bone, or on the brow bone, under the eyebrow. Now, setting spray. All day wear lightweight and it's currently 12.05 my girlfriend said probably 2 o'clock we were thinking 1 30 so she was thinking 1 30 but now she's thinking 2 o'clock so we're gonna have time to hopefully fingers crossed get this video um, done and then upload it and I have to make my thumbnail as well. I usually do that while it's rendering and loading and all that. But hopefully we have time to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and do mascara. And then I'll see you guys probably when I start editing. So see you in just a second. <laughs> Okay, hey y'all. So I am on my couch now. Obviously, computer set up right here. I'm about to try to get this video done. Um, yeah, because I want to post it today. I don't want to post it tomorrow. So I'm going to try to get it done right now. Um, it is currently 1230 or 1229. So we're good on time right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and watch TV or something. And I'll be right back. So yeah, I'll see you guys in just a second. Or when I'm done. Toodles! Hey vlog, so I had to hurry up and get dressed because we're running a little late, but um, this is the jumpsuit from Zara. My counter is a mess, so don't worry about that, but this is the jumpsuit. Super, super cute. I'm trying to decide if I should do glasses or not. I feel like that's doing too much, but I'm wearing a black purse, so I don't know. I feel like the glasses would be cute, but let's go without the glasses. Let's go without, yeah. But 
Okay, this is the outfit. I'm gonna try to get some pictures today. I don't know if I can, but I'll see you guys in just a second. I'm gonna film off my phone because I'm not taking my camera, so yeah. Ta -da. I told you guys who we were going to see, but we came to see Mariah the Scientist in San Francisco. That's Wendy, is But, yeah, we're in line right now. And I'll vlog more when we get inside. So, see you in just a second. So let me see the outfit. Gonna go see. Let him wait. Ooh, Mariah, who? You gotta remember, you gotta say the whole thing. Right, it ain't gonna be Mariah again. Mariah, the scientist. Mariah, the scientist. I would like to. Yeah. Yeah. Hey vlog. Okay, so it's currently Wednesday, March 13th. It's 1217. Let's do a recap, okay? Because Yesterday, I'm gonna insert the clips because I didn't take my camera. I recorded some clips on my phone. I vlogged a little bit um, yesterday after I had got in getting ready and we we're on our way to San Francisco because we went to the Mariah Scientist concert and we also did the meet and greet. So I'm gonna just backtrack. <laughs> I'm gonna just backtrack to when we got there. When we got there, we got there around like 5 30 ish, 5, five whatever, 5 something. That's where we're supposed to be there. We're standing in line. Um, there was a general admission line and then there was a VIP meet and greet line, whatever. So we were supposed to be there early to check in and get in and get merch and all of that good stuff. And then we're supposed to have the meet and greet before the concert. We didn't have the meet and greet before the concert because she ended up being late. So we got there at five. She didn't come on until 10. We were there for like five hours before she even came on. Okay, yeah, everybody would be mad about that, but it's Mariah, so it's Mariah. Anyway, I was still juiced. So she get on. I sung my heart out, okay? When I tell you, every single song, back to back to back, new words from front to the back. I had so much fun, but I just wanted to just check in and tell y'all that it was great as hell it was so great like mind you also i okay so this this is this is what um i was so excited about so we did the mean greet but before we did the mean greet and while we we're standing in the line her sister which if you guys don't know her sister is her manager so her sister is you know involved with everything that has to do with like the merch and like you know the show or whatever we had seen her sister why did we have on the same outfit i'm gonna answer the, the pictures if they don't show up good but twin where have you been because 
It was so cute. So I definitely have to get a picture with her. I was so nervous. Like I was so starstruck the whole time. Like I was just shocked. And then we had like good seats. First we got in, we were the first ones to get into the venue and stand where we wanted to because there was floor, um, everybody's supposed to be standing on the floor. So we got in first and we were gonna be like right there next to the stage, like up close next to the stage. Um, but my girlfriend had walked away and ended up talking to one of the security guards and somebody that staff that was there. And he ended up giving her some free wristbands to stand on the balcony. So we ended up getting to the balcony, seats, nice as hell. Like, like I said, I'm into the clip so you guys can see just how far we were from the stage. Like literally while she performed, she was making all type of eye contact. She was just, it was just great. It was just great. And then we did the meet and greet after the show and we got videos of that too but just like talking to her whatever we took pictures um so cute it was so cute this is this is one of our pictures we took i'm gonna insert everything because it just doesn't do it justice just me showing on my phone but i have so Anyway, so we got merch, right? First of all, let's talk about how we got signed little posters. So cute. So cute. This is getting framed. This is, this is, this right here is getting framed and put up on my wall somewhere. Then we ended up getting these shirts for free. Um, that just came as like the merch for the VIP uh, meet and greet so cute so stinky cute so we got the white one everybody got the white one that uh, got the meet and greet tickets and then while we were standing in the line her sister which is where we were by when I took the picture um, her and somebody else from the staff they were selling merch as well so I ended up getting us the black one, which is just has on the pocket, Mariah decided to be in the live tour. And then on the back, it has all the tour dates. This one's probably getting hung up too. This one's probably getting hung up. The white one, I'm gonna wear as much as I can. But this one, we're saving it. Um, and then last but not least, we all got the little meet and greet um, pass thing, the little lanyard, and then it has the little scorpion right here. It was just too cute. It's just too cute. Do y'all see this? It's just too cute. Anyway, so that was my day yesterday. I had a blast. I had a blast. So yeah, insert clips here. Y'all will see a little bit of the show. I'm a, I'll, I'll insert a little bit of the show in here. And oh yeah, we we had so many wristbands on, like it was crazy. It's crazy, but y'all could just live vicarious th through me because I'm on cloud nine. Like I have not stopped looking at the pictures and the videos. And it was just so cute. And we got to talk to her for a little quick second when we were doing the meet and greet thing and taking the pictures. And she was just like, I see you in the balcony. I was like, did you? Did you? And then she was talking about my outfit because I had seen her sister earlier, like I said. And she was like, I know where you got this. You got this from Zara. I said, yeah, girl, I did. She's like, I was going to get that. I was like, I know. And then her, the the lady that was there earlier um, with the merch, she was like, yeah, her and Morgan took pictures earlier. I was just like, Ugh. we just already friends. That's just it. We just friends. But, yeah, I had a great time. I had such a good time. Anyway, so that was that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to vlog anymore today. I might just stop it here and then start a beginning of the weekend and this will all just be in the weekend vlog or I don't know I'll make it a weekly vlog because 
it's during the week, not the weekend. I don't know. We'll see. But I'll talk to you later, girl. Okay, bye.